Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. Today we have the most epic episode ever. We are covering NFL Super Pro on the cover of Ring Scythology number 27. A little backstory and explanation is in order. However, I think this could fall under the category of sort of indie artist spotlight, fan fiction, or just a bunch of talented people just wasting their time completely. Anyway, I'm totally down for it. It's totally awesome. More super pro goodness. I will bring it to you in just one second. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button and let's get right into it. Okay, so <clears throat> the beautiful image of NFL Super Pro here. NFL Super Pro is a, a superhero created by Marvel Comics and the NFL um, back in the 90s, Fabian Nicieza. Um, you know, I don't know, this character is probably mostly known for all the wrong reasons. Like, it didn't last very long. It was very, like, torn apart. There's a lot of controversy surrounding one of the issues. Um, anyway, uh, you know, whatever. I don't know. He's kind of one of those obscure characters. However, look at this badass art that my buddy Sam J. Roy L. created. So, Ringsythology is like a group of kayfabe uh, cartoonist, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like, uh, it's sort of their community and like every month they get together a bunch of like indie artists um, from the kayfabe community and they do like a Zoom conference and they draw based on a subject and they just kind of shoot the shit. I'm sure they drink and get stoned and everything like that. Like a drink and draw, it's kind of a lot of fun. And they have a different subject each month. Um, unfortunately, um, while I have contributed to a few thologies in art, I have never been able to attend one. I'm trying to fix that one of these days. Can you do one on a Monday? That's such a better day for me than a Saturday, guys. Let's do a special Michael Fitzgerald Troy themed Monday thology once. Okay, Eli, let's do that. So Eli Schwab, thank you, by the way, for printing this out. Always uh, gets the anthologies. It's like a thology, so it's an anthology of whatever they talked about that month. And it's like pinup stories, whatever you wanna do. And this month, um, after much deliberation from my buddy Sam J. Royale, um, uh, NFL Super Pro was the subject. And, you know, it's kind of funny because they try to pretend like this is like a, a lame character that nobody likes and blah, blah, blah. I freaking low-key love this character. I think he is awesome. Like, check out this gorgeous design, especially painted by Sam J. I mean, that is so cool. Um, so anyway... Um, uh, I mean, it really inspired a lot of great art, as you're about to see. Um, so Sam J. Royale and I are doing sort of like a, a recap uh, video series of NFL Super Pro, which is like ironic because neither one of us knows anything about sports. And we have like one issue episode up. We're going to do like every issue. I think there's only 10 or 12 -ish episodes, so it shouldn't be too painful for anyone. I'll put a link in the description. So this is just a bunch of fan creators doing whatever the hell they want with NFL Super Pro. I mean, this is like next level talent, like professional level art here, Sam J wasting your time. When you should be working on issue three of Dishoom, his creator owned anthology, which is amazing. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. So Super Pro, see, this is what I'm saying. It's so funny, Sam J Royal. Eli, I think this is a victory for us all and everyone's laughing. Here's a list of all the uh, contributors here. A lot of talented guys. Um, and Eli's little introduction, Eli Schwab, the publisher of Cosmic Lion Productions, and um, that's done a lot of great stuff, like Wizard Magazine. Uh, he does the Grendel cast. Love and Grendels is another great fan scene that he pushed out. So Eli is like just the man. Thank you for printing this out for me. It's so awesome. He sent a little note. Ooh, we got a preview of my art in there. Anyway, MFT, thanks for supporting NFL Super Pro. Ha 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 ha. I had to send one to Sam as well, so maybe you can add it to your uh, recap show. V Vivid Eli, I think it's supposed to be Vivat Eli, like Vivat Grendel, but hmm, maybe that was like a typo. I don't know. Anyway, I love getting mail from um, fellow artists and creators because a lot of times they'll send you original art. 
and check out this dope Grendel. Eli's a huge Grendel fan, almost as big a Grendel fan as I am. And um, I'm going to hold you to the challenge on that just because I picked it up off the shelves, issue one, the Christine's Bar, anyway. And, um, <clears throat> but anyway, this is sort of like a, uh, um, a very, uh, primitive Grendel, and I just love it. I think it's awesome. I think I'm going to put it on eBay after I record this, so look for it there. Phil Grayfield seemed destined for greatness in the National Football League until an injury ended his career before it began. But fate guaranteed that his connection to football would continue. A fantastic accident enhanced Phil's natural athletic abilities to superhuman levels, and he became NFL Super Pro. Now, as NFL Super Pro, he uses his incredible powers to combat evil and protect the sport he loves from those forces that would seek to corrupt it. And he fulfills the dream of a young man who never got his chance on the playing field to be a real football hero. I don't know where that came from. I think that's not entirely true because, like, I think Super Pro is kind of like Batman in a way that he doesn't have sub superpowers. I think it's the costume that has the powers. It's all very unclear. It's all very, like, weird. Jerome Cabanatin uh, opens the story with this little, I love this art, great use of screen tones here. I cannot believe the time and inspiration that people put into this NFL Super Pro stuff. Um, <clears throat> just lots of great fun art here. That is so cool. I mean, if this does not show, like, the, like, overall, like, I feel like somebody, no pun intended, like, just sort of dropped the ball with Super Pro. I mean, you, it was, like, it should have been successful. I mean, you have Fabian Nisi, he's uh, arguably one of the most, like, successful popular artists of the day writing it, and I don't know, it's funny because... He's sort of like this anti-hero in a way that like, um, he's like a hard luck hero. Every time he does something, it screws up. Like even just getting his powers, he never even really played professionally. Like he kept getting cut down right before it. So then he had to become this superhero who sort of isn't super helpful. I don't know. I haven't gotten to the series far enough. I'm assuming this is like a, um, uh, what do you call it? Um... like one of the characters from the book, but I love the art anyway. It is very cool. This is really cool. I love this so much. I love these two pages here. This is great. Like I'm telling you, this is like next level art for Super Pro. And, but that, but that sort of backs up my opinion that he's not like lame, like that he's so cool to inspire such great art. I mean, I realize it's completely possible. I'm sure there's like, you know, Picasso style masterpieces of Jar Jar Binks out there, but you know, what are you going to do, right? Is that you, Eli? I think it is. Yes, it is. Eli himself, the Grandmaster. Speaking of original art, you should put that up on eBay, Eli. Okay, so this is for real. Like, despite the fact that there, we have this amazing Sam J. Royale cover... Like, this is sort of, like, one of the biggest uh, standouts of the book by uh, Schlepzig. It is so amazing. First of all, the art is so good. Like, it is, like, super inspired. But this story is, like, really enticing and gripping. I almost wish it, it was, like, a full graphic novel. As I told him on Facebook, it is almost like the Dark Knight Returns level version of um, NFL Super Pro. So... Good on you, Schlepzig. You should def he is definitely a creator that I like, and you should definitely uh, keep your eye out for his other stuff because it is way cool. And the story is just so dope, and I just love all the art, and it is really a great contribution to this fun little fan scene. And speaking of Sam J, I mean, how beautiful is that? Of course, it's the centerfold. I mean, um it has to be. I mean, like, Sam is just, like, one of the best artists I know. Like I said, his book, Deshume, is, like, so cool. I love it. It's such a great anthology. He's, um, got, I don't, it's hard to pinpoint, like, uh, his style, because it's, like, got really great classic superhero elements, but it's got, like, this fresh sort of, uh, painterly style, and I love his, uh, what do you call it, um, one of the best uh, senses of color out there on Sam J. 
And then Manny Gomez does this fun, like, who is Knuckleball? Is he real? Oh my God, I need to read all my super pros. I have them. We're so far behind. Sam J. Royals uh, uh, and I's recap show of NFL Super Pro. I mean, if this doesn't inspire me, we got to strike while the iron, while the iron is hot or while the pigskin is hot, guys, and uh, make NFL Super Pro a thing. I'm like seeing, like, okay, so this is my contribution here. And I'm going to talk about my process, my inspiration, and my color theory for the next 35 minutes. So... I'm just kidding. Could you imagine? No. Um, so I don't know. I just wanted to draw a picture of NFL Super Pro. I, you know, like I said, I'm not a big sports fan. Um, as I'm sure you are shocked to hear, but, um, I don't have anything against it. I mean, you know, I love the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. I mean, football is so Americana. Of course, it's going to always be there growing up. Um, and uh, as Sam pointed out, yes, I did change his visor from light blue, but I wanted to capture sort of the red rage. Like, I just feel like there's, like, football is such a guttural, like, raging sport. But then I also loved, like, when they play in the snow. Like, I always thought that was so cool and always sort of accentuated their savagery. Like, the beauty of, like, the snow playing, but there's still, like, such beasts that they're just like tearing each other up in this like freezing cold snow and I just kind of like that effect. What do y'all think? It, it's weird because uh, my signature colors are garish and bright and I feel like if this were an RGB you would have seen the full effect of it but I think it's CMYK and that always dulls it down a little bit which is fine because I actually kind of like it and it looks cool and that's the last I'll say going on about my own art. And then we have this little story here. And I'm not sure, but um, there's something weird about like everybody being gay in the future. So I don't know if this is like homophobic or not, but I'm not sure what you're trying to say there. So, so there. Anyway, this is a beautiful pin up here, Alan Greenwood after Jack Kirby. And I feel like I know the image that he's referencing, um, the get, the original Jack Kirby. But I love this because it is after Jack Kirby and you have all these amazing like Kirby dots in there. And, um, uh, but they're like done in a much different fashion. So I really appreciate that. I love this pinup, I think it's great. The, another amazing standout from, like there are so many beautiful images of Super Pro in here. And like I said, he's basically like Captain America if he played football. So, you know, the costume's iconic. It's amazing. It's great. It's fun. I think that, you know, since I, I feel like the NFL might own the character partially, so there's probably little chance of ever seeing like a, a relaunch or even like a trade paperback or anything like that. But I don't know. Stranger things have happened. Another major standout from this book is um, uh, Christian Misimo. Of course, I love his art all the time. He's such a brilliant um, cartoonist. Um, he's a caricature artist, and every time he posts something, like it just is so joyous and fun. And um, screw you though for this like next level coloring. Like this is so good. Like this could be like spawn colors or something like that. Like it is just so good. And then it's done on this, um, you know, like super fun wackadoodle, um, hypercharged like cartoon. And I, that makes me love it even a hundred times more. I just think it is so amazing. I'm jealous of your coloring, um, skills. This looks so good. But the best takeaway from this whole page, um, Misimo, is, uh, I think he, like, really captured the essence of NFL Super Pro quite well, because I've said this in my reviews, and Sam and I have talked about it in our recap show. These two look great, by the way, face-to-face. -face. Good placement, Eli. Um, you are a good editor. Um is that there's a cat in a tree and it, she says, help, shit in the kitten is stuck up a tree. First of all, shit in the kitten. I don't know if this is the first time you've ever used that, if this is something from your life or whatever, but I demand a full length comic book of shit in the kitten. And I think it's just like him dying every single page or something, but then coming back, I don't know. Anyway, shit in the kitten, hilarious, love it. The name is too much for me, I can't take it. And Super Pro looks so super crazy here. Because he's kind of this, like, 
innocuous kind of nice guy. You know, like we never really see that brutal, like savage football player in him. And that's what I tried to bring out when I did my one page illustration of Super Pro and the snow here. Are you guys sick of seeing that? But like I said, so he tries to save this kitten in the tree, winds up breaking the tree and killing the cat at the same time. And I think that in a nutshell, like is all you need to know about Super Pro right here. So thank you, Misimo, for capturing the whole thing just like that. Also loving the, um, the arrow pointing to the crotch. Who doesn't love a gimmick like that, you know? Um, yeah, Jason, um, Jason Foster, Jason Von Grimm Foster, one of my favorite artists. I love his work. Like, it's always just so much fun and fun to look at. We're working on some stuff together and we've done a few collabs before and I am looking forward to working with him because he just really brings it. You know what I mean? Obviously there's, <laughs> um, this is a more, um, sort of, I don't know, pared down, like, uh, very uh, underground, um, almost crude kind of style, but there are so many elements of like foundation and layout and just like power to his art. Like it's definitely compelling and I really love his art. So good on you, Jason. This is a weird handwritten writer. I don't know if it's a poem or like stream of consciousness, but you know, I guess it's like, uh, if you can't draw, write poetry. Um, NFL Super Pro, who is this? I like this art, that is good, nice coloring, but is it like, I don't know, is that like a cricket player? What the hell? So there we have it. Isn't that freaking amazing, guys? Like so much fun. Don't you wish you could buy this? Like, I feel like so privileged to own like one of two copies. I mean, the conceit of this, of course, or not conceit, but the, uh, I don't know, whatever proper word you wanna fill in here. The, the, you know, thing behind this is every month they do this and then Eli puts out a PDF so you can print it for yourself. So it's like having a great new comic full of eclectic, talented artists every single month, like Sam J. Royale and Michael Fitzgerald Troy. Watch our recap. Thanks for watching, guys. It's so much fun. Do you love uh, NFL Super Pro? And if not before, don't you love him now? Cool football there. Was that you, Sam? Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, hit like, share my content, and I'll bring you more soon. Thanks, guys.